Thank you to my Patreon patrons and YouTube members. Your support keeps the lights on. If you want to access extra perks like early video access, special emotes and badges, a lounge area in the Discord server, or the ability to choose the next project setting, check the links in the description below. Now, let's get on with the video. What's going on, my kitsunes? It's your favorite three tailed box box. They come back at you with a brand new episode of The Sims 2 Werewolf City. And in today's brand new episode, we're going to be building the first lot on the map. Now, if you actually saw the neighborhood view right now, you'd actually notice, like, you'd be like, Hey, Foxy, did you change the plat map again? And I'm just going to confess to you right now, straight up, the answer is yes. I did, in fact, change the plat map. There is a pretty good reason for me to do that, as I currently adjust around in my chair. I need to either oil this thing or get a brand new chair, come to think about it. But right now, budgets are kind of tight right now. Although things are kind of improving, they're on the up and up, so I guess we're pretty much fine in that department for the time being. There's another department that I'm going to say we're not fine in, and I am going to give a little bit of attention to that in this video, because I'm kind of recording this at night, I shouldn't have to do this, but unfortunately, because of some circumstances, I do have to do this, so... Yeah, it's going to be fun to talk about, but I'm going to hold off on that for just a little bit right now. But yeah, basically, I did kind of change the plat map a little bit. And the answer for the reason why, I'm just going to say it straight up. There's too many lots. There are, like, way too many lots right now, you know? And for those wondering, yes, 80 lots is too many. Want to know why 80 lots is too many? Because if we build, like, more than just a few, the game is actually a risk of crashing. Especially when they're, like, often, like, so close to one another, too. So, yeah, it's definitely gonna be fun. But anyways, why am I recording this at night? Why am I doing this at 1.32 in the morning? And that's because I'm currently... Well, let's just say I'm dealing with a lot right now. I don't want to say exactly directly what I'm dealing with, but... I don't want the recording on this to get interrupted, basically. That's really what it is. Basically, for those who don't know, for those who don't watch the live streams, because there was a lot of stuff during the previous City State 2 live stream in particular, and I would imagine, since I'm recording this a couple days early for members, especially since I'm going to be at a Furby by the time you guys are seeing this, assuming no double headers blow up, and I do want to talk about that too, because I have serious doubts that, you know, a certain one living with me right now will probably approve of me being in a Furby, Basically, why I'm doing this at night and why I'm trying to jump ahead a little bit would be more due in part to the fact that I got to deal with, like, you know, let's just say narcissistic parent out here. I'm only going to say one, actually. I think I can certifiably only say one. And basically, I'm worried that the recording sessions are going to get interrupted so that we can berate me for basically no other reason really than just existing in a way that we don't like out here. Now, I'm not going to say which parents are narc or anything like that. That's not really my place to decide, but that's kind of why I'm doing this at 1.32 in the morning. That's why I'm posting this to members at like 2 in the morning. Same with Patreon patrons. So if you're waking up to this notification, good morning to you. If you're not waking up to this notification and you're already awake at the time I post this, hope the night shift is going okay. But yeah, gotta deal with that. That is absolutely fun. That's also been why I've kind of so aggressive on pushing the memberships in the Patreon actually, and I am actually going to be working on getting director's cuts out for completed projects to high i think i'm gonna release them to the highest tier first and then eventually i'm gonna make it to where lower tiers can access it so it's gonna be a nice little game of patience basically but yeah i do want to give something a little bit special to y'all right now for actually supporting the channel financially out here and you don't have to do this either i'm actually in a pretty decent position in fact i've already gotten out and potentially even more than that too so i'm not really the most worried at the moment you know, despite, like, you know, some pitfalls that came today. But for the most part, I'm mostly okay. But let's just say a lot of stuff has been kind of, like, you know, getting a little bit ridiculous. And I figured I'd kind of, like, say something on that in this video. Because if you watch the streams, you know exactly what's going on in that situation. But if you watch the videos and not the streams, well, there's a decent chance you've never actually heard of this problem. So figured I'd kind of explain why this is going live for members at 2 in the morning, and it's still going to go live at normal time for non-members, but I should not, like, that's not the point, chat, that's, that's not the point, Kitsune, I was about to say chat, like I was, like, freaking live on stream, like, I should not have to be posting this at 2 in the morning for members, I should not have to wait until everyone else is asleep, hope and pray I don't make too much noise, because that will also likely lead to beratement, and also, more likely than not, threats to kick me out of the house, too. We've been, I feel like we've been wanting to do that for a while, or at the very least been threatening to do that for a while. Most of the time, the threats are empty. I'm actually concerned, actually, 
Because this time, there's a chance they could actually be very real, so... Yeah, that's gonna be fun to potentially deal with, but... Anyways, um... Yeah, I shouldn't have to do this. I'm just gonna be that guy, I'm just gonna say it. Shouldn't have to do stuff like this, but in order to get content out to you guys, I do have to do stuff like this, so... To my members, I do want to apologize for the inconvenient publish time. And if you're not if you're not a member too, you can kind of disregard my apology. But if you do want to become one again, would be really much appreciated. I don't really need it that bad, but it would be very much helpful. But anyways, right now back over to the build. Now that I'm done explaining why this is going live to members at two in the morning and why I'm starting to record these at night because it's ridiculous what I got to deal with. I am going to be making a video on it later too, like full fledged. But again. There's going to be a rule against, like, you know, begging or anything like that put in there. That That's not needed. That's not necessary, at least from what I can gather. I'm doing mostly okay. It's just, you know, it's just something I kind of want to do explain, and it's something I will be explaining in depth a little bit later. But back to the build, because I keep going on these tangents out here. Basically, what we're doing right now is we're kind of, like, working on the floor plan. We already have the exterior done. We do not get much of the interior done. I'm actually going to reserve that for future episodes. Because there is, like, a very specific style I want to use for this town. And there's going to be a lot of mixed-use development when, with the lots that I'm building, too. Yes, I'm actually building... And I'm a huge urbanist here, so it would make sense that I would build something like this. But, yeah, we're going to be building a lot of mixed-use developments. We're going to be caramelizing the town pretty heavily, as I'll go ahead and say. And I gotta say, I think this does look pretty good. I'm not going to be populating the entire thing with lots. I know I kind of did that in the last episode, but plans have kind of changed because... It, Let's be real. Again, 87 lots, that's going to crash the game. We don't need that. But I do want to build a little bit of everything. So that is going to be something. Right now I'm starting with downtown because that's by far the simplest process, especially from an urbanist perspective, because it's like so easy to urbanize a downtown. It's like ridiculously easy. But anyways, um, as we start to get last day's floor plans completed out here, start kind of like adding in a few um, doors and whatnot. I'm basically adding in bathroom doors, and yes, I did do the door part of the floor plan too. I figured, why not? Why not, like, do the door part of the floor plan? I feel like that's going to make a bunch of sense. And also, I did kind of struggle where to, where to put the registers here and stuff like that. But anyways, we are starting to get to the end of this video now. If you did go on to enjoy, as per usual, you know what to do. I will see you guys next time. Take care. Bye for now, and have a great day or night. No matter where in the world you may be.